The first tip is really simple. It's just making sure you have the gumballs turned on. Now, if you go to the bottom of the Rhino window, there's a little menu item called gumball. Click that and this little indicator here will open up, which is called the gumball. So the gumball is a really powerful tool and it lets you do a lot of things just with using this one little colorful interface. And that can range from moving, which is the red, green and blue arrow, which relates to the X, Y and Z axis, as you can see in the icon down here. The little arcs are for rotating. You can hold down shift to lock the rotation to multiples of 90 degrees. The little squares with lines through represent moving objects on that plane. So only in this instance, the X or the Z direction. So that's up or left and right. That's not into or out of the, the page if you want to look at it like that. These dash lines with a square on the end represent the toggles for scaling in that direction. So scaling in the X, Y or Z direction. If you hold down shift, the object will be scaled in all three dimensions equally at once. And this little white toggle here is for setting all of the various options for the gumball. Now, if you're moving or rotating or scaling something and you want to do it by a certain amount, you can just click and hold on that little icon. So in this instance, it's moving and you can just type the amount that you want to move it in. So say 50 mil, and then you can just release and it will have moved that far. And that's using the gumball. So this tip relates to moving and manipulating your view in the viewport. So the three commands that you're going to need to know to quickly move around and zoom in and out and pan and viewport are as follows. If you would like to orbit the view, hold down the right mouse button and rotate around with your mouse and then let go when you're happy with where you are. If you'd like to zoom into the model, use the scroll wheel, zoom in and zoom out. If you'd like to zoom into a specific point on the model, a specific object, select the model, hold down control and the right mouse button and move your mouse in and out and that will zoom and focus on that selected object. If you'd like to pan, hold down shift and right click and that will just move the view around your cursor. Now the combination of those three commands should get you zooming in and out and flying around your model with ease and being able to work on specific points easily and quickly. Now this next tip utilizes something called sub object selection and then using the gumball to complete an operation similar to SketchUp's push pull, which a lot of people are very familiar with and really miss in Rhino, but you can actually still do that. Now what you want to do is hold down control and shift, click on the face and then drag the gumball and that will pull or push that surface as you need. Now that also works on edges and that also works on points. The second part of this tip is using the sub object selection to do this quickly. So what you can do if you want to select this corner point here, rather than holding down control and shift and trying to click on the perfect point to select that, what you can do is drag a little selection box. So I'm holding down control and shift and clicking and dragging with the left mouse button. And what that will do is select the point on the object, which is within that box. So it's just that point. Now, if you wanted to just select that edge, you could do the same thing. If you wanted to select the top of this box, you could do the same thing. And that's just a quick way of being able to manipulate objects quickly from various viewports and operations. So this tip is using a command called Ycut. It's a great way of quickly slicing or cutting geometry um, with complex lines. So what you wanna do is draw your line that you'd like to cut the geometry with. It can be anything. And then make sure it's above the object or surface in which you're cutting. And then type Ycut, push spacebar or enter. Now select the object which you'd like to cut, push space file, enter, and then you want to drag the cut plane down till it's all the way through the object. Now you're selecting the side of the object in which you would like to cut away. So we'll click yes. And then it's asking if you would like to accept this, click yes, and it's cut away. And that's a great tool for making more complex geometry and cutting away objects. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thanks everyone for watching and feel free to pop a comment down below of anything that you'd like to see me cover in a future video and I'll get straight to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.